<laughs> Fulfillment for the Wave King's Leatherbound crowdfunding campaign has begun! I believe they're sending out the highest tiers first. Yeah, I spent a lot of money this past year. You're welcome, Sanderson. And thank you. Reminder, this is supposed to be sent out in two different waves, with Secret Project 5 coming next year. But right now, we got all the other good stuff. Let's open it up and see what we got. First off, let's just talk about the box here. The box itself is great. Dragon Steel on the top, Dragon Steel symbol. These words are accepted. And then the side of the box, it's all the Radiant Orders, which is really cool. Windrunner, Else Caller, Lightweaver, Truth Watcher, yeah. All of them. So the only thing that I didn't get in this campaign was all of the Spren plushies. <sighs> I wanted all of them, but they're what, like 400 bucks if you wanted to get all, which is a lot. Opening it up. <sighs> Here we go. Woo! There's one box. That feels like a book. Here's another something. More stuff. <sighs> and here's a oh, big thing. Okay. Go away. All right. The words of Radiance Leatherbound, which is what this is, because it says. I've had a few people already ask me what number I got, and I've had to be like, uh, I don't know, get out of the box. This is the most awkward thing I've ever done. Here we go. So well packed. Boxes within boxes. Can I just pop this open? Oh, I do. Da -na -na -na. Here we are. Reminder, when you buy books, don't leave them in the plastic. That can cause an accumulation of moisture on the inside, Ooh. and it can actually make your book mold. So if you get a book and it's wrapped in plastic, open it up. Take it out of the plastic as soon as you get it. Oh man, these are so pretty. Oh, open. Oh, these are gorgeous. It's still a blue leather, but it's really, really dark. Almost black. Very nearly black. Let's look at the end papers. Oh, Shalon. The Chinese cover art is so pretty. Oh, and then the Polish art. Number 2146. Not terrible. Not less than a thousand. The nice thing with these leather-bound editions, all of the art that was initially in the first release has been made dual color. Actually, hold on. I don't even recognize this. Gotta just go hunting through to see all the pretty art. Hey, hey, that's on my wall. I love how they still do a nod to the original chapter arches. You still have artwork of the heralds and then the double eye, but the heralds are in profile this time. I wonder how this is going to be affected by the like crumbling we've been seeing in the wind and truth chapter arches. I don't know. Oh, Steve Argyle. So pretty. There's pattern on her dress. I love that. No apology. Boots. This is by LaMary. She's so great. Another Steve Argyle. Shalon killing tin. You know, judging by the look of that blade, just that part that we get, I think that's testament. Oh, that's delightful. The inserted art is really nice. It's on a like thicker, nicer paper. It's really good. Ooh, that's fun. With the dual color printing, they were able to sort of give a flesh tone to Sanderson. Oh, pretty. And I don't believe these ones are numbered, but there's a lot more art. Oh, wow. Bridge four movie poster over on the wall there. Wit talking with Shalon. I think this is also a Lemary. Shalon there. Caravangian. I love seeing like so much of the fan art that has become so representative in this fandom. Getting fan art made official is so good. This. <laughs> oh, yeah. So pretty. Love it a lot. Oh, Shalom giving Wit a hug and Kaladin being so confused. Ooh. Oh, this is the duel. This is definitely another Steve Argyle. Ooh. It's pretty. Oh, awesome. Steve, this is incredible. Shalon holding... I mean, <laughs> There's probably layers of meaning with this necklace. She got a necklace from her dad, but then it's got the ghost blood symbol on it, Shalon, and then darker hair here, that's Veil, and then Radiant, and then are we getting hints of Formless already? Oh, so cool. White Spine. I also have that on my wall. Ah, stretch forth thy hand. Yeah. The fight above the plains. Oh, Yasna, else calling back. That's cool. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let's see what else we got. Ah, here is all of the orders. Windrunner, Will Shaper, Truth Watcher, Else Caller, Lightweaver, Edge Dancer, Skybreaker, Dustbringer, Bondsmith, and Stoneward. <laughs> Stuff. We're starting off with the Stonewards. So this is the Spren, the Peak Spren. Okay, so the Spren are the beginning of series two for the Cosmere character pins. And then I love the challenge coins. There's just something about coins that is magical to me. 
scout. Oh, fun. So we've got the pin that is sort of a chibi version of what they look like in Shadesmar. And then on the back of the challenge coin, you've got a more 3D realistic version of what they look like in the physical realm. And Peak Spren just look like little dudes. Those are cool. Stoneward charms, sticker pack. Oh, decals. Interesting. So they redid the glyph a little bit. Glyph by Steve Argyle based on a design by Isaac Stewart. And then the pennant. I've heard that these are huge. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Uh, these are massive. I can't even fit it all on screen. They're split at the top, which is a pretty fun design. So it's not just like a little baseball flag. No, these are legit. Where am I going to hang these? Bondsmith. Stormfather. Number 10. Grumpy, grumpy Stormfather. Bondsmith charms and the Bondsmith challenge coin, which I want to take a look at. Oh, cool. Bondsmith. Stormfather sibling night watcher. Actually lists the three Bondsmith spren, but then shows the Stormfather. That is such a cool design. It's like a the green man, but cloudier. Bondsmith decals, again with a more stylized glyph. These flags are massive. They come with a little paper on them to prevent it from sticking to each other. Oh, these are really cool. What are we on? Dustbringers. Ash spren, little guys. The charms. That looks very cool, the black and red. The coin. Show me what an ash spren looks like in the physical realm. I wanna know. Oh, that's fun. Burning into it has like a wood texture on the actual coin. Dustbringer decal pack. I wish there was more than just like glyphs and the same image that we have on the pin on these decals. Oh, this one's kind of got dirty or something. It's either dirty or like moldy. That's weird. Does bring our Skybreakers. Wah! Caught it. Oh, that is a freaking cool pin. I love that. The, the sparkle on there. That's my favorite pin so far. That's so cool. Charms. Black and white. Not terribly exciting. That's, that pin makes up for it. Man. And then the Skybreaker challenge coin. Oh, that's fun. So you've got like a landscape and then a break in the landscape showing the foreign field of stars. That's really cool. Decals. What if I get just like a bunch of towel hangers and I can hang them up and then hang these? I don't know, we'll have to see. Edge Dancer, Wendell pin, oh, with a chair. <laughs> That's funny. Cultivation Spren, Charms. Those look real nice. That light blue, That's very striking. And then the Edge Dancer, Challenge Coin. Oh, oh man. Oh, that's so cool. That's a great design. Face growing with vine. Like that's, that's really awesome looking. Steve Argyle. Well done. The decals and then the edge dancer flag. Oh, that's very pretty. That's really cool looking. I like that a lot. Now, light weavers. Pattern spren. A cryptic. Light weaver charms. A little bit darker of a red than the Dustbringers. Let's get the Cryptic Challenge coin out. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Light Weaver decals, and then the flag. I'm getting a little overwhelmed with these flags. They're so big. I love the pins and I love the coins. I'm less sold on the charms. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. And the flags are cool, but they're just huge. Light Weavers, woof. That's a really cool glyph. I like that one. They're high quality though. I will say that. The fabric is really good and strong. Else collars. The ink spren, which is pretty cool looking. The charms. That's a very pretty blue. It's like a teal. That's nice. And the challenge coin. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. They did like a, not an anodization, but they colored it on the back end. That is so cool looking. That might be my favorite coin so far. That's awesome. Decal sheet, less exciting, but still fun. And then the else color banner. Oh yeah, I love the colors on this. That's really nice. Truth watchers. We've got mist spren, again with the glitter here. That's really nice. I like that a lot. That's not as powerful of an effect as in the high spren. High spren's so freaking cool. Green and gold for the truth watchers. And let's check out the coin. For the Mist Spren, what did Mist Spren look like in the physical realm? Sparkly Shimmery! I feel like they could have done more with this. They did the coloration here for the Ink Spren. I think they could have done something similar for the Mist Spren. Because it's supposed to be like light from a prism. Still cool though. And then the Glyph. 
decals. Let's check out this banner. Oh, yeah, this one's sort of weird too. I think it's mold. The stuff that's on it looks kind of fibrous. I would suggest if you got all the flags, or specifically if you got, I don't know, the Dustbringer and the Truth Watchers, at least, open them up and see if they're moldy or not. I don't think it's damaged the fabric at all. I think they were just packed, like a little bit wet, because I'm feeling this is colder this feels like it's slightly damp. Check your flags, make sure they're not moldy. And Will Shapers, which is my order, the Reacher, oh, it's very good. I was real tempted to get a Reacher plushie. I thought they looked awesome. I like that pin. Charms, purple and gold, very fun. The Challenge Coin, oh, that's amazing. Okay, this now wins for my favorite coin. That's so cool, they've got, they added a little like Mother of Pearl insert in there, that's awesome. Awesome. Steve Argyle did all of the work on these coins, I believe. Before he was a like painter, he did 3D work. And so he's had a lot of experience making 3D models and images and stuff. And so he probably did all of these. That's what art by Steve Argyle. But then that's also why we have the slightly redesigned glyphs for each of the orders. Because it's Steve Argyle and he wanted to do something cool. Will Shapers. And then let's open up yeah, this flag. Hopefully it's not moldy. Oh yeah, that's cool looking. That's a cool looking flag. Nice. Will Shapers, you look great. And then the last one, the one that probably most of you are looking forward to, the Windrunners. Sill, Honor Spren. I'm surprised they didn't put any sparklies on her. We got sparkly Miss Spren, we got sparkly High Spren, but not sparkly on the Honor Spren. Windrunner charms, very nice. The gemstones are pretty fun. They catch the light in interesting ways. And let's look at this challenge coin. Oh, little mini baby Sill. The sculpting on these is really impressive. Like the amount of detail there on Sill's face is really great. And the decals. I do like the redesign of some of these glyphs. Like that Windrunner glyph is a lot more dynamic. And then let's open up the Windrunner flag. Do I have any viewers in Canada? Is this a flag? Oh, that looks good. That's awesome. That's a pretty flag. So all in all, Radiant Order Packs, I think are pretty great. The pins are phenomenal. Phenomenal. Again, that high spren pin is so good. The challenge coins are great. The charms are, if you're into charms, I'm sure the charms are good. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the charms, but they're fun. The decal packs, I think could have been a little more interesting rather than being just the glyphs and then the, the image that's the same as on the pin and the name of the order. I think they could have done some more interesting stuff with that. They're still cool, but less exciting. And the flags are really fun. They're huge. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but but the quality of their construction is really nice. Still a little strange that my Truth Watcher and Dustbringer flags are moldy, but here we are. Then, ooh, this is gonna be Dragonsteel Prime, the sticker. I really appreciate that they put the sticker over the tape, which means you can peel up the tape and not damage the sticker. Hopefully, at least that's what I'm gonna try to do. Yeah! Oh, Dragonsteel Prime. Very pretty. The cover is really nice. I like this look of the cover a lot better than the original Way of Kings Prime. This is a more leathery style of cover, whereas the original printing of the Way of Kings Prime is more like fabric-y. This is really nice. Doesn't look like there's any art in here, except for the original map designed by Brandon in like Microsoft Paint. If you haven't read Dragonsteel Prime, it is worth the read. It's a really interesting journey into what might have been in the Cosmere. Most of it at this point is non-canonical. It's still an interesting story. And then the final little box, this, which I believe is the backer pack. Oh, okay. The Dragonsteel Prime pin. It's the same as what's on here. It's the same as what was the sticker. That looks real cool. Literal monster. Let's see. Oh man, that's super cool. It's a spinner fit. That's so Awesome! Oh my gosh! So it's design. I was wondering who was on the face. <laughs> That's fantastic. More coasters. Creme soda. One sip will have you humming to praise. It's Gem Heart Healthy. Five out of five of the five recommend creme soda for thirsty listeners of all ages. The Precipice for discerning light eyes who live on the edge. Oh my gosh, they're <laughs> like being blown over. That's great. This would be the front. And then you see this is the back. Just zoomed in. Storm form. Powerful results. Lightning fast. Tired of feeling ordinary? Storm form. The ordinary chaw. 
a cut above the rest. Feeling down with the crown? Find your friends at the Ornery Cho, the war camp's prime station for assassination. When you're here, your crime family. Those are all of them delightful. Oh, dude. Axie's the collector's deck of radiant spren. This sounds amazing. The dragon's too. That's it. Oh, man. These already. I'm impressed with the design of these. These are the jokers? No. Oh, nope. Oh, that's cool. It gives you a, a list of all of them. There's Axie's. Obviously, Kaladin and Syl. Shallan and Pattern. Yasna and Ivory. The design of these, again, is really awesome. They've got a more of a linen texture. The jokers. Maya and Gliss. Aces are Wind Spren. Twos, Gravitation Spren. Oh man, these are awesome. Threes, Flame Spren. Fours, Life Spren. Fives are Concentration Spren. Six are Creation Spren. That's a great design. Seven are Logic Spren. Little storm clouds. Eight, joy spren. Nine, are bind spren. Ten, glory spren. This is a really well-designed deck. Jack of, what are we on? Spades, high spren. Oh, that's fun. It has shades more form and physical realm form. Queen is cryptics. Kings are ink spren. And then it looks like all of the numbered cards are the same design, just with a different suit, which makes sense. Oh, Jack of diamonds is mist spren. Then honor spren, cultivation spren. That's really cool. King of Clubs, Peak Spren, and then Reachers, and Ash Spren, and then down the number of clubs, five, four, three, two, one, Aces. King of Hearts, Stormfather with Dalinar, Queen of Hearts, Night Watcher with Cultivation, Jack of Hearts, Navani, and the Tower. Ooh, she's got the Void Light Sphere and Erasium Dagger. These are gorgeous. Well done, Axes, and well done, Dragonsteel. And then, of course, we need an epic bookmark with Shallan, and then, oh wow, that's the Assault of Narek. I actually know her, the girl that modeled for Shallan. Hi, Kira. Have her sign it. So that is shipment one of the Words of Radiance leatherbound kick, not Kickstarter, backer kit, crowdfunding campaign. Really, really fun stuff. Carly Kjellstrom of Dragon Woodshop has some beautiful coin displays, as well as displays for like everything else in this you could possibly want. Coasters, playing card displays, books in which you can put stickers, and we're working on something awesome for Dragonsteel too, so check her out. Those of you who got more than one flag, how are you going to display them? What are you guys going to do to showcase all of this swag? Word of warning, the flags wrinkle real easily. Don't just like crumple them up and throw them in a corner. You have to like lay them out or else they're going to wrinkle hard and fast. Similar question with the charms. What are you guys going to do with the charms? Comment down below. I want to see your guys' ideas for what I should do with all of this stuff. And as always, join my Discord. That is an easier way to talk to me. Hop on my Discord. We'll have a chat about your ideas for all of the things. When you are on my Discord, you can interact with some lovely people like my patrons. Thank you so much to Doug, Matt, Steve, Steve Argyle, who did all of the art for all the things. Really great. Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, Scotty, James, Dalinar's Butt, Moochie, Chris, Mithy Carone, Gallant Aegis, the son of James, Lexar and Talap, and 42. There will be a second wave of fulfillment once Isles of the Ember Dark is completed. That will come next year, but this is the bulk of it. Let me know in the comments what your favorite item of merch is, and I will read and find out. Yeah! Thumbs up.